Hello, uh, my name is Jeff Feige and I'm with iGel Technology and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the iGel UMS on 64-bit Red Hat Enterprise Server. So I have on uh, a Red Hat Enterprise Server 6.3, it's up to date. Um, I've already downloaded the UMS um, console or the uh, UMS installation package. Um, it is in my downloads folder and uh, we need to add the executable bit to it and then we need to install some dependencies because our management suite is uh, designed and tested for the 32-bit environment however there as long as you install the right dependencies uh, the 32-bit libraries and whatnot uh, it installs and runs just beautifully on 64-bit Linux so the first thing we'll do is say yum uh, we'll do a dash y so we don't have to answer that again later and we'll install the pieces we're missing. <clears throat> so we've got glib, um, glib, c, come on, lib c dot i686, lib xtst dot i686, and lib xext dot i686. And these will bring in the uh, proper, any other dependencies that they are uh, relying on. If you did try to install the UMS before installing these packages, um, you'll find that uh, it looks like it installed, kind of, but uh, it doesn't work. You can install these dependencies and then reinstall uh, just right on top and, and everything will be just fine. I'm also going to show you how to put the UMS in the menu structure. Um, if you are interested in doing that, you might want to install Image Magic. It's really small, and it'll allow us to um, to make the conversion on the icon uh, pretty painless. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now as well. Alright, so now still as root for the installation, we can go ahead and path to um, where that setup file was downloaded, which for me is in my downloads directory. Um, we can hit enter here, uh, accept the license. Um, this path generally you don't need to change it um, we'll do a complete installation um, this will install the database and everything else uh, run levels are fine for Red Hat um, these are all good and we will do the internal database um, username for the database DBA admin at least that's my preference and then admin for the passwords as well and we can go ahead and basically hit next next and wait for it to install the longest part of the installation is the uh, as the database um, so creating the database and certificates uh, you can kind of shake the bits around and make it go faster but uh, just kidding all right so we're done um, so we could test this by um, pathing out to the uh, remote manager uh, shell script and we'll use localhost for the management server location and admin admin and looks like everything's working fine so now I'll show you how to create the icons for the um, for the drop-down menus. Um, so we'll switch back to my home directory. Now you could create these icons for global users, but uh, for this purpose I'm going to make them for my local user and uh, if you want to do that you can 
do that homework on your own. Um, so in my home directory there is a local folder uh, share folder inside of that and then there's an applications directory and we also need an icon uh, icons directory so inside of applications we need to create a file um, for the menu item so we'll call it uh, igelums.desktop and we need to just put a few fairly rudimentary things in here uh, we need to create a, a desktop entry section um, I like to put my UMS in the system folder, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and then we'll, for the executive, the executable stanza to opt IGEL remote manager, remote manager.sh, and set the icon to IGEL underscore icon. Set the name to IGEL UMS console, and this is what will show up in the menu. Uh, what else do we need? Startup notify equals true. Uh, terminal, we don't want to run this in a terminal. And um, set the type to application. Application. All right, so we'll uh, write this out, and hopefully we pull this down, and there it is. There's no icon there yet. There it is. We can run it. it should fire it up again. And we're good to go. So first thing, let's, uh, let's create our icon. Um, if we go to... Um, back to you know our home directory dot local dot uh, share icons. Um, we need to use the uh, root privileges to get the icon out of our folder. So we'll switch to root and we'll copy. Um, actually, we'll do something a little bit different. We'll just go ahead and convert the icon from where it currently sits into a format that we can use. Um, and since we installed Image Magic, we can simply type convert opt igel remote manager rm GUI server web apps root igel icon.jpg and then home jfig uh, local share icons igel underscore icon dot png it has to be in a png file format um, so we're done um, so now we can go to um, home jfie local share icons take a look that it's there sounds fantastic it's owned by root you can make it owned by you but since the permissions here show that it's readable by everybody it doesn't really matter and then i like to create my administrator console icon too i basically do um, something along these lines the negate option basically just uh, reverses the colors so that it's obvious that one's admin icon and one is not so in order to get the admin portion working correct we need to create a, a group uh, called UMS so we'll say group add UMS then we need to add my user to that group so we say user mod dash a a means append to the existing groups that I belong to if you forget that you will overwrite all of the uh, groups that you belong to um, capital G for supplemental groups and we will say UMS and then we'll give my username so now if I say ID J Feige you can see I am part of the UMS user group so now we want to add me to um, a v pseudo group or a pseudo group so that I can access the UMS admin console without um, having to put in a password. So um, and we'll call this IGEL dash admin. It doesn't really matter what we call it. And then so we'll put in UMS. So the UMS group 
um, all hosts as root will be allowed to run opt igel remote manager rm admin rm admin dot bin capitalization is important and we can write that out so now um, I need to log out and log back in because I've been added to a group so we'll go ahead and log out that's easy enough to do we'll log back in and open up our terminal again there our icon is very nice and now we will change to dot local share applications and I copy IGEL UMS to IGEL UMS admin and then we edit IGEL UMS admin there's really not much change that goes here um, I make sure that I change this to admin console I change the icon to uh, admin icon and then the exec becomes sudo opt igel remote manager um, rm admin rm admin dot bin and then we have to set it to start in a terminal uh, I don't really know why that is it just does not seem to want to start unless it starts in terminal and I am too lazy to figure out why so um, anyone smarter than me is welcome to figure out why and send me a note and let me know what you know. But anyway, um, so I've added this. I should be able to launch uh, from the command prompt now, say sudo opt igel remote manager rm admin rm admin dot bin. Okay, so it launches. Excellent. And then it should also launch from the uh, system tools here. And you see the icon is inverted. So um, that's easy enough. So this should launch from here as well. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you were able to follow along. I did it kind of quickly. But um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, again, my name is Jeff Feige. And I hope this video was uh, at least marginally helpful to you. Thanks a bunch.